So I'm going to do tonight's reading. It's going to be for the Mercury Retrograde. Now, what's very interesting about this Mercury Retrograde is it is from October 14th to November 3rd. What does that mean? That means that the, the last day of Mercury Retrograde is going to be on election night. Now, of course, we're not going to know the actual results because people are mailing in ballots and they have to be just postmarked then. So we're not going to know exactly <clears throat> who is the winner, but we're going to have a good idea. I, I feel we'll, we'll have a good idea, but it's going to be intense. So um, this Mercury retrograde is in Scorpio and then transitions into Libra. So it's going to be, you know, you know how Scorpio is. For my spiritualists, you know how Scorpio is. And I am going to use this deck, the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. And let's open it right now as we're talking about it. But um, Edgar Allan Poe, um, I got this deck. It's fairly new for me. But um, all decks have a personality. And this deck does have kind of a death kind of energy to it. And it, it definitely has, I would say, like a death as advisor. So it's almost like death is going to be talking to us. I feel it's almost appropriate to use this deck because, um, you know, because Scorpio and Pluto is, is about death and transformation. And I have a feeling there is going to be some transformative energies going through this Mercury retrograde. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be intense. So I really wanted to get a deck that is going to match the energy. I'm a little nervous about it, I'll be honest. I'm a little nervous about it. But um, let me just take a drink here. Oh, it's good stuff. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> I watched that video of him skateboarding, and um, what I have been doing, <laughs> what I have been doing, is at work um, I play Pandora, so I've been listening to music from the '70s and the '80s, and I swear it takes me away from 2020 when I do this. It takes me back to a simpler time when all this drama was not going on. And I can just like, oh my God. So with the guy with the skateboard, and we play that a little bit more. With the guy with the skateboard, just drinking his juice. I understand him completely. I understand him. Because he's trying to do exactly what I try to do when I listen to this music. Is just try to get away from 2020 and we're going to be okay so I want you all to understand this is very scary and upheaval but at the same time we're going to be okay in the end the new earth is going to come no matter what hopefully in our lifetime that's what I'm hoping but yes this um yeah it's it's good stuff and uh I'm not going to keep my visions to myself I'm going to read for you so let's see what's going on. Let's get it all shuffled up. But yeah, I really enjoy that. I just, it's like, just get me away. You know, so music is really trans, you know, transcending. So during this time, you know, like I don't want to listen to the music of today. If, you know, especially if my older viewers understand, you know, there's something about going to the 70s and the 80s and all that. And it, it does seem to get you out of here for a little while. It gives you a break. So, uh, but I had to give a little tribute because that guy, he's just awesome. And I, I just like, that just, it makes me want to get out there and just get on a skateboard. With my tarot cards. And just, you know, you bet. But let's get real. Let's get real. We got the Edgar Allan Poe deck. And we're going to read for the Mercury Retrograde what to look forward to. Kind of what spirit has to say. Let's get serious.
deck is fighting me a little bit. Let me lower it down. Here we go, guys. Oh, boy. What's the first card? Ace of Swords. Okay, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is especially about the truth, cutting through the situation, seeing reality for what it is, you know, especially. So there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be coming through, but, you know, truth inevitably will win in the end. You know, this is one of the things. You know, I know, I feel you all that we're sick of being lied to, you know, and that's what it thinks the Ace of Swords is about the truth. It's going to cut through here. It's going to cut through. And even if you look at all these people falling ill in the White House and so forth and things going on, that's just like, that's science. Okay, that's truth. That It's unarguable when something like that happens. So I feel like people you know, will begin to be opening their eyes a little bit more. And you notice the raven at the top of the sword. Okay, this is the Edgar Allan Poe deck. And what is the crossing? Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles, as you can kind of see them, um, this is about, you know, gifts, some money, and so forth. But this is one of the things that has been a, a big one. You know, obviously we know um, the stimulus was held off. You know, Trump said, and he doesn't look like he's given very much this time. We're going to hold off on that till after the election. Now, this actually, I feel, is not helping him. He may think it's helping him, you know, that, that, that holding Americans hostage by, you know, not saying, let's go forward and let's make a deal. And let's get this going on. You know, having that kind of energy, you know, being antithetical to that is, is going to be one of the things that really hurts him in this election. This is one of the main issues coming up because there's a lot of people right now that are unemployed. There's a lot of people right now that can't pay their rent. They can't pay their bills, you know, and they're trying to figure out, you know, do I pay this bill or do I pay that bill? What do I do? I'm going to lose my car. A lot of people is down to the wire and they really needed that money to come in. So this is a big issue for many Americans right now. And you may be one of them. So there we've got the page of wands. And if you kind of look, those people are kind of chasing the page and so forth. So um, this is a little bit concerning. And like I said, it's a very dark deck and so forth. Um, but especially about, you know, you know, people like kind of, you know, getting that fire going on. And so maybe conflict in the streets. We may see some of that going on. You know, um, just today, the uh, there were some people arrested for they were going to take the Michigan governor hostage. So there are some, some things brewing beneath the surface. But they were able to capture those people, thank God, in the nick of time. But, you know, are people plotting and planning, you know, and they're going to, come out in the street and be, you know, chasing down people. I, I hope not, but um, it is a little bit concerning as we get closer and closer to the election. It does kind of feel like people are plotting and planning things. So we've got the five of cups in the reverse position in the past position, the morning of the losses, you know, with the coronavirus and everything. And it's very hard to see the upside but there is an upside in that people are recovering, but it's in a reverse position in that they may be recovering, but many are having long-term issues left over from the coronavirus. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> the administration, one of the things, you know, they're kind of, you know, saying and so forth, you know, is that, you know, many people are surviving and this and that. And one of the things in the debates they have been talking about is we prevented deaths. But, you know, that really is an injustice to the 211,000 Americans that have died thus far. 
And where is it going to be in December? See, that's very concerning for me as I kind of think of that. You know, as I'm dealing with the death deck, okay, I'm dealing with, you know, a little bit of that Scorpio energy here. Where are we going to be in December? What's the magic number? That is really, you know, that's what makes me nervous and so forth. But, you know, I, you know, and it's almost like I'm tired of them trying to look at the upside of a situation. Well, we save this, we save that. Please look at the numbers of the people that are lost. You know, we, we need to honor, you know, the family members that are survivors of the people who have died. You know, you're not listening to them and they're, you know, they're pleased and everything to do something different. But we're getting closer to election. So then I've got the Ten of Wands. It is in the reverse position. And as you can see, it looks like he's just about to go under. What does this kind of look like? It almost looks like the Titanic, doesn't it? You know, with this ship and everybody's just kind of falling. But it's especially a burden card. And so, you know, we are all in this ship together. We really are. We're all like this. We are, we are in a storm. And that's how I kind of feel, you know, about us as the American people is that we are in a storm and we're just trying to make it and we're just trying to survive. But what people need to understand is when we are in conflict with each other so strongly, you know, what I feel like spirit is trying to get this out there. When you're in conflict with everybody and at odds with everyone, you're dragging everyone down. Everybody on the ship needs to work together to save themselves. But if you're all fighting amongst each other on the ship, we're all going to go down. So that is a very concerning thing that that is kind of a message of spirit is that if you all don't stop this fighting amongst yourselves, everything goes down. It's not just a part of the country goes down, but it's, you know, spirit is really saying everybody goes down with the ship. <clears throat> that is a concerning message. And then we've got the moon. So as you can see, the two people that looks like they're about, they're about to go into battle, right? This looks like they're about to have a sword fight. And we know that that is a big thing right now, you know, is the final countdown is what we're getting into. You know, November 3rd is really going to tell us a lot. That's going to be the showdown, the culmination of all this time, you know, that we've been watching the debates. We've had our Facebook news feeds flooded, or if you're on Twitter, just flooded with all kinds of information, you know, lies and this and that, you know, and the final showdown, it really comes down to two people and who's going to win. And that's kind of what that emphasizes, you know, but it is kind of unknown at the moment, though us tarot readers kind of have an idea So I've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse position, and this is in the self position. So I would say this is the position of all of us, you know, and we are all wishing for certain things. But what are the things we got to kind of understand, you know, because this is a wishing card, you know, and she just, you know, it's one of the nicer, you know, cards of this deck. It's a little bit gentler, but no matter the way it goes, no matter who wins, you know, we don't exactly get what we wish for because there's still a mess. It's not, no matter who wins, it, there's all of the problems that have come to surface over this last year are going to be there. They're not solved overnight. And I, I feel like that's, you know, we need to kind of grasp that. They're not solved overnight. There is, it's going to take a very long time to heal this country. So, what we are wishing for, we just want to be restored. We just want everything to get back on track and get perfect. And there's still going to be the resistance. Even with the change of leaders, if, you know, like I feel it's going to happen. But even with that, there is still going to be resistance and so forth. So there, there is still some nerves there. And we have to be prepared for that. There is so much healing that needs to take place. But there are some people that don't want to heal. And that is the concerning part. So we've got the four of pentacles and this has been, you know, a big thing, you know, with the leaders, the ones that are holding the pentacles hostage and so forth, you know, and not being very giving. I feel like one of the things about this, you know, 
is that, you know, we kind of have looked at the government the way it has been. And it has withheld so much helping the American people when they need it the most. This is one of those critical moments in history where the American people need the help. We pay taxes, taxes, and taxes over time and so forth. And this is a time we need to be gifted back some of this so we can make it through, so we can take care of our families and our households and not lose our home. And they're all holding on to that. And and this is, I feel like this last issue as I look at the six and the four pedicles, you know, with with them holding off on that stimulus package till election and all these people on unemployment who really needed that extra money and things like that. This is this is a real painful moment, but it's also making people angry. And let me draw a supplemental card on that. Yeah, and just as I tuned into that, the card that I drew as a clarifier is the judgment card. You know, is the judgment card. So this, you know, they they really are going to, you could say, judge this administration with their vote for that. Like when I needed you most, when everything was going on, when I lost my job, when I had to go to the food bank just to feed my family, where were you? This is a big one. Hopes and fears, what do we got? So we've got the six of wands in the reverse position. This is in the fears position. So I would say this applies to both Trump and Biden. It really applies to both of them that, you know, each side fears losing because this is a victory card. It is a victory card. So each side really fears. There is so much at stake in this. You know, Biden, I feel, is more concerned with, you know, really saving American democracy, where Trump is more concerned with saving himself, you know. So there is there is a lot riding on this. And then the end card, you know, I told you this is a tough card, is the Three of Swords. And I'm going to pull a few more. But the Three of Swords is just the heartache and the suffering. And but especially one of the things about the Three of Swords, you know, it is it's just we are all wounded. I feel like no matter what, you know, come what may, by the time we get to November 3rd, we're all wounded in some capacity due to coronavirus, due to the racial unrest, you know, due to, due to all the division that has gone on. It has been so challenging for all of us. But I do like this that I drew next to it is the Ace of Pentacles. We have the ability to get to a new beginning. We do have the ability, you know, to make that positive change. That's the golden scarab, you know, but we do have the ability and so forth. I just drew the page of swords. Page of swords is about news. It may be about news that some people do not like and so forth. You know, that is one of the things. But what y'all need to understand, if I can reassure my, my, uh, my fam that is, uh, you know, not Trump supporter, but I drew the king of swords, which has been my Trump card. King or knight represents him. It is next to judgment. So, you know, certain things to be held accountable and so forth. Um, it's going to be tough. As far as the way people will act once everything is all said and done, you know, that is the concerning part. I do have the two of swords when I ask that question. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to predict anything super crazy. But Two of Swords is especially about decisions, you know, and they can be uncomfortable decisions and so forth. Should I do this or do that? You know, will people take negative action? Um, that's very possible. But the, the one good thing I feel, I definitely feel I'm getting a message of restraint, you know, that spirit still is in charge and we need to remember that. But I feel this message of restraint, you know, for the most part. Um, but it's, it's, um, I, I feel like I know how it's going to go. Um, but, but those two, especially in the end, I look at that. I've got that we have the opportunity for healing and a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, which is this little scarab. You know, we have the opportunity for that, but we got to get through this darkness. You know, we got to get through the darkness, um, to be able to get there. 
it is going to be a challenging one. I feel like one of the things, you know, during this time as well, I feel like, you know, we all just, it's like, kind of, just kind of like the video, you know, we got to kind of get away, listen to some good music, relax, I know that spirit is charged. Spirit is in charge of this the whole way through, you know, we got that Mercury and Scorpio, it's going to be in retrograde. Um, communications are going to get strained with certain people. Expect some of the some of that to go up, especially as we're getting closer and closer to November 3rd. It is going to be a challenge. But just, you know, us light people need to try to be, you know, the peacekeepers. We want to do that the best we can. We still want to give the truth. You know, we're not going to put our heads in the sand. You know, we're not going to do that. But I do got that hermit card. Take a little alone time. Get away. You know, tune in. You know, tune in. Just you and spirit during this time. You know, try to stay out of the fray. It's kind of a message that I get from the light people during this time. So it is, it is challenging. It is challenging. You know, and... I've observed a lot of tarot readers on YouTube. I've, I've watched a lot of the current event ones. I notice we're all similar. You know, we're all about the same age. And we, we've got about the same amount of knowledge when it comes to tarot and everything. But, you know, we all kind of were seeing such similar things. And I will even observe because I'm a little, you know, I have the knowledge of the tarot. So certain cards that pop up for them, I'm like, that came up for me. That came up for me. And I notice certain, the, the messages are similar because we all serve one spirit. But just during this time, you know, we got to hand it over to spirit. We're about to get into some turbulence. And that, you know, the Ten of Wands with them all in the boat. Okay, that's one of the main messages of spirit. I, I feel like it's coming through. That's one of the strongest ones I get of that layout. Is while you are all fighting on that boat and going at each other, you don't realize that you're all in this together. And you're all going to sink. You know, when when we're going at each other as sides, there is no winners. We're all going to sink. And that is especially the message of spirit. Will we learn it in time? I hope so. You know, I hope that the American people and everybody will learn that in time. And recognize that before something catastrophic happens. But I do like that Ace of Pentacles in there. Next to the Three of Swords, there is hope. There is hope and stuff. But is everything going to be exactly as we wish? Nothing is going to be perfect overnight, guys, no matter what. You know, in the end, it's like there is there, this brought everything to surface. But over the next several years, we've got to deal with this. Now we know what some of these problems are. You know, the racial unrest and the division and everything. You know, the poverty issues and, and all that the corruption, so much of it came to surface. And we we can see, you know, it wasn't just coronavirus that is a disease. You know, we, we need to understand that. Coronavirus is not the only disease that we are seeing. And it's, it's so many more diseases that have come to surface. And, you know, we need to heal. See how it goes November 3rd.